Well, it's week four here at Nimrud, and we are wrapping things up. We're cleaning the temple gate chambers and getting ready for all of our documentation. We've been writing up everything, of course, but we're doing some final photography. So today and tomorrow we're all cleaning, and then we're kind of out of here. Thought I would do one final tour of what we've been doing in the Ishtar temple. We will walk in this way. It's a bit rough. <laughs> this is where we take our wheelbarrows down in order to get the soil out. And then I will probably have to jump down a bit. So this is the first gate coming out of the Ninurta courtyard. There were many temples near the ziggurat at Nimrud. Some have been partially explored over the past 200 years, and there have been attempts to reconstruct the interconnections of the temples based on the excavated walls. This requires a lot of supposition, though, and we're working to illuminate key areas more clearly. Two of the temples were dedicated to the goddess Ishtar. Each was dedicated to a different aspect of the goddess. One was to Ishtar Kidmuri, and the other to Ishtar Sharat Nifi. I'm not really sure what Kidmuri refers to, though it's said to be older than the others. Asur Nasirpal II found it already existing when he decided to put his capital here at Nimrud. Sharat Nifi means something like Queen of Bright Heaven, or more literally, the Blazing Queen. It seems to refer to her astral aspect, that of the stars. She was thought to be represented by the planet Venus, which is seemingly a bright star in the sky. We chose to excavate in the Sharat Nifi temple for a few reasons. First of all, it had been badly damaged by Isis and we needed to document and clean up. Secondly, the western end of the temple had never been excavated before. The west side of the Sharat Nifi temple leads to the Ninurta temple, partially excavated by Layard in the 1850s and again by Malawan in the 1950s. They cleared the western part of that temple, but the courtyard remained untouched. We've now uncovered a double gate chamber from Ishtar to the Ninurta courtyard. And Ninurta was the city god of Nimrud, so his temple was immediately adjacent to the ziggurat. He was the god of war and of agriculture. His temple, and all of Nimrud in fact, was sacked and burned in 612 BCE. So behind me is the Ninurta temple, or the courtyard to the Ninurta temple and there would be an opening into the Ishtar temple from that. We are finding some inscriptions, which are almost certainly going to tell us about the temple. We haven't completely uh, transcribed and transliterated and translated them yet, but we're working on that. There's a heck of a lot in there. But right now, we still have some unexcavated balks in the south part of the room, but we have all of the northern walls. So we'll jump down into the baked brick paved court floor of Ninurta. Now, that's going to be a really big temple behind me. So we're only just barely in it. There are some baked brick pavings here. And behind me then is the gateway itself, the first gate into Ishtar. So as we come through here, there would have been a giant door just at the end of these stone blocks. And if we look down at this stone block, we can see a lot of cuneiform on it. So the gigantic block that's going to announce something to the visitor. The doorway would have been right at this threshold. So we've got our two gate sockets. One here goes 75 centimeters down and it's about 50 centimeters wide. So this was a heck of a door. It swung to and then it could be locked by pushing a bolt down into that socket down in the ground there. Got the threshold, the other gate socket back here. And another very interesting thing is that we have a whole lot of evidence of the copper door bands. So those are decorated copper sheets that went across the wooden door. They were nailed in both as decoration and to hold planks together. So you'd come through this door and if you turned to your left, you would see this stela with Ishtar and the king showing how the king can approach the goddess and that her favor would be on the king and on Nimrud. Next to it is a stone block that has a divot in it, probably. They burned incense here. 
And I suspect that there's another Stila behind me, but we haven't finished excavating down there. Then you would come to another doorway, big gateway right here, which there's a gate socket there. It's broken. There would have been another gate socket over here. Again, missing. Why? Because of ISIS. They came in here and they destroyed a whole lot. We can tell some of the evidence on the paving itself. So here in the gate chamber, the paving is stone. But let's look at this marking here, just how severely battered the stones are, and then a scrape all the way across until it hits and ducked down. That was front end loader or back end loader. I'm not sure what they were using, but they scraped down with a giant claw and just scooped up a whole lot of the surface and the things beneath it. So we've already cleared away all of their destruction, but of course they did damage. We can't repair all of it. We can rebuild some though, and we can learn a lot from what they missed. So that's what we've been looking at is the material beyond after we'd cleaned up what they had already done. So after you'd come through all those, you were actually in the courtyard of the Ishtar temple. So that's on through that way. Uh, some of the stone paving here where it just is ending. We have some decoration on there, some geometric designs, stars and things. And Ishtar is associated with the planet Venus, which looks like a bright star in the sky. And maybe some of those stars have that meaning. Well, that's pretty much it. We did follow some of the paving in the giant courtyard for Ishtar, but mostly we've been concentrating on this double gate chamber. Very interesting, and I'm kind of sad to go, but I think we're going to be back in about six months. So I hope you enjoy all of the artifactually speaking reports that I've been giving and that you will continue to watch. Thanks, and see you later. <laughs>